your eyes. They appear magic. <laughs> Flatterer. <laughs> Let's not wish her. I mustn't. Why? What's the matter? Well, I... I'm an old man. I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Good too. What has age got to do with all this? Good too. Do you like me? Mm. Yes, I do. I like you very much. <laughs> In fact, I want you so bad. But... Good too. <laughs> this is what is love. <laughs> this longing. This is the real thing, Guttu. Everything else are just words. Empty words. <laughs> oh, who could it be now? Uh, I came alone. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Of course. Come in. <laughs> What's with the suitcase? Um, that's actually a bit of a story. Can I bring it in? Yeah, sure. Come on. <laughs> Good too. Hmm. I, I have been thrown out of my house. That landlord is a real bastard. Bad guy. <laughs> yes, they usually are. My roommates and I owed him a few months rent. I mean, it's not like we didn't intend to pay, but... Uh, in short, uh, can I stay here for one day? I have another place by tomorrow or the day after. Uh, surely not more than three days. Well, uh, will you pay me my rent? <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you sign a contract to let me stay for a year. Oh, that's too long for me. Three days, that's okay. Free. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Guddu. <laughs> so, what have you been writing? Tell me, did you think of me at all? Well, tell me something. How did you find my house? <laughs> There's only one right on Beach Avenue. Everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me show you your room. Wow. This is so beautiful. <laughs> wow. I just love it. <laughs> Well, you can make this your quarters. You saved my honor, Guttu. I had a bed with my friends saying that you'd let me stay here. 
<laughs> Thanks, Kutu. All right. Freshen up if you like. Mm. I'll get some coffee. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize it was this late. <laughs> Fell asleep. All right. I have a surprise for you. Surprise? Yes. Come. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Vishya. Thank you. Happy birthday to... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I've read somewhere, Guttu, <laughs> that every birthday is like being reborn. Reborn? Mm. Yes. Like a new vision. Like starting on a new journey. Like meeting friends we've never met before. Well, then this could be a birthday for me too. <laughs> One where I meet a new friend. A friend young enough to be my granddaughter. <laughs> but you don't have a granddaughter. You didn't even marry, remember? <laughs> to you then, my new friend. To you, my friend who came in from the darkness. <laughs> <sighs> this by far has been the most... A heart-melting birthday gift I've ever got. Most unexpected kindness. <laughs> Thank you, Guto. <laughs> Guto, you said you'd show me your novel? Not now. Don't want it to bow you tonight. No, no. Now is the time. <laughs> come. Come on. <laughs> come. Well. <laughs> <laughs> eternity. When I speak of eternity, an image rises to mind. That of a seashore, deserted and calm with an unending stream of waves. And on that shore, bedded in the shingle, is a chair. And on the chair is an ancient man, a little older than time itself. That man of withered frame, quivering from the cold wet wind, is Nachiketas. He is the keeper of history, the teller of stories, the protector of time itself. Sometimes people keep waiting 
for long hours to catch a moment with him on that beautiful seashore. He would never pay them any attention, but they loved to be near him, to touch him, befriend him, to sit with him in a circle around him. As he sat in the sand resting, long hours after cleaning the white beach, some would have washed out his clothes, some brought him new ones, but he never spoke to anyone. At times, he rambled off in strange foreign tongues, words which he alone understood. That's about it. Happy now? Yes, indeed. Did you like it? <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> Go on. We are friends. <laughs> All right, good to. I'll be honest with you. That'll be better for you. Please. Good to. These are just empty words. Kind of being clever with words. You think so? Why? Because I don't think even you know what you're talking about. Good to doesn't know what he is saying. Sorry if I've hurt you. But uh, I think I should tell you what I feel is the truth. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Back from your walk. Oh yes. Did you sleep well? <laughs> like a log. But I woke up very early. I shouldn't have touched the laptop without asking. Sorry. I was just checking my mail. That's not a problem. Vishya, I had an interesting dream. <laughs> what will you have for breakfast? Omelets and toast? No toast. Omelets will be fine. Oh, don't you like toast? Oh yes, I do like it, but I like to make the toasts myself. I like them warm slow with butter. That way they turn out crispier. Mm, shall I shut it down? No, leave it on. I could write a bit seeing I'm up and feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> you know good too? You remind me of my granddad. Oh really? No, you aren't that old. It's not that. <laughs> it's the tone of your voice, the way you talk. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Good too. I did a very terrible thing. Don't get mad at me. Promise. First, tell me what you did. I'll promise later. That's not accepted. Promise me first. I'll tell you later. Okay, I promise. So tell me, what did you do? Good to. I have uh, erased all of it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't get angry with me. What, what have you erased? The book that you wrote. I'm sorry, you must not scold me. Uh, what have you done? What, what do I do now? You promised me you won't get angry. Well, I'm not angry.
Hey, what are these? What are you doing, Vishya? Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, Guttu. I just had to do it. Please forgive me. I have a good mind to thrash you up. Who are you? What are you up to? Didn't you hear me? Who are you? You know me. Then why are you treating me like a stranger? I think you don't like me at all. I must leave. Liking you is not liking you is not the issue. I know you are up to something. I want to know what your game is. You walk into my house and now you are trying to destroy my life. Tell me what you want. Alright, who sent you here? I did not destroy your life. Just deleted few pages that Gutu has written. That too, some meaningless words. Even you know they are. But you refuse to accept it. Because you are a known writer. I don't know what you're talking about. I may not be a world-class writer. Some of what I've written may not be that good too. But why did you destroy it? You should have burnt it all yourself, Gutto. You should have. But you didn't. That's the reason I did. Somebody had to. We look great together, don't we? Isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> By the way, take one of that bonfire too. There may not be another one like it again. <laughs> Vishaya. I'm sorry about it. It was completely an accident. <laughs> it's okay. What did you do anyway? Nothing wrong in having seen a girl naked. <laughs> Tell me, Gutu, what is the reason that you did not marry? Well, I almost got married once. Luckily, she broke off the engagement. She was up from north, a very sensible girl. Maybe she realized it was better to jump before the going got tough. But why? What went wrong? Another guy, she ran off with my best friend. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm not sorry at all. In fact, I'm glad to let another man suffer in my place. <laughs> Guttu, I think you're very hurt inside. Poor thing. Uh, I don't think so. 
I think I made it through unscathed. That's something, isn't it? <laughs> 38 steps. <laughs> a very long veranda. <laughs> Guttu, you have a beautiful house. <laughs> Look at what you've done. My story, my work, all gone. Don't feel like reading either. It is boring when I have nothing to do. <laughs> Just relax, Kuttu. Enjoy the weather. Or otherwise, enjoy my company. <laughs> to enjoy your life, you don't really have to write books, Kuttu. <laughs> You just have to live it. You're surely better than any book. <laughs> Good too. <laughs> All right, you little devil. What are you going to burn this time? You. Magic. <laughs> Flatterer. Let's not wish her. I mustn't. Why? What's the matter? Well, I... I'm an old man. I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Good too. What has age got to do with all this? Good too. Do you like me? Mm. Yes, I do. I like you very much. <laughs> In fact, I want you so bad. But... Good too. <laughs> this is what is love. <laughs> this longing. This is the real thing, Guttu. Everything else are just words. Empty words. <laughs> oh, who could it be now? Hold on. I'm not buying anything. Please leave. Sir, I didn't come to sell anything. I need some water and a piece of cloth. My car has broken down. Managed to fix it, but got my hands dirty. Only need to wash my hands. And if you don't mind, some water to drink. Mm. Yeah. Come in.
I live far away. Was just driving by. This is a nice place you got here. Are you done? Just a moment. Your grandchild, is it? No, my wife. What's your problem? Oh, I'm sorry. No offense meant. None taken. Tea is ready. Sure, join us. I used to live here once. For many years I was here. I see. Hmm. When my parents passed away, I inherited my family home. It's on top of a hill, an estate. Sorry about that, Rahul. Rahul is your name, right? Hmm. How did your parents die? Yes, in an accident. <coughs> the estate is quite large and rather lonely too. But somehow, I love the place. Where is it? Perancourt. Oh, rubber plantation, is Among it? other things, yes. And a wild garden. You can see the entire city from there. Hills all around. I'm sure you'll like it. Actually, living on top of a hill is second to nothing. The wind, the lightning, Everything is so astounding. You should see it to believe it. Yeah, maybe sometime. When I built this house, I liked it here. It's set on a slope and at odd levels, I loved the feel of it. But now, all that is gone. Now I'd like to live somewhere in the open, away from all the salesmen knocking on your door. <laughs> <laughs> That's my place for you. You'll never find a salesman in your life. Samo tea? Yes, please. Mm? Oh, thank you. I should be going. Thanks for your help. I'll come back later and maybe take you home. You'll like it. <laughs> no hurry at all, Rahul. Maybe next month. <laughs> I'm sure you'll not regret. Strange fellow, isn't he? For a long time, I lived in Delhi. Delhi is a place which is full of ambassadors and princes. The house belonged to a friend of mine. The only thing I missed there was the sea. Sea is my weakness. Were you an ambassador too? <laughs> <laughs> no way, you're funny. <laughs> I was a scribe there for New India Times. I was covering politics and that was when my first book was published, Angels of Dynasty. <laughs> Sorry, never heard of it. Well, good for me. Maybe you'd have burned that book too. <laughs> <laughs> that must be a possibility. <laughs> you know, I love teaching. I became a professor of English. That was when I began to write in Malayalam. I discovered something that even if you live a thousand miles away, I mean away from your native land, you can never forget your mother tongue. Anyway, after 20 long years in Delhi, the exile returned to Kerala. Your parents? One of the reasons I came back, mother's death and father's illness. Will it that be? How is the place? I love this lake. It's so peaceful, so silent. That is what gives solace to me. On the other hand, it's like the human mind, deep and troubled, but you can't see it from the outside. When I realized that, it fills me with fear. I'm not scared at all. I know how to swim. Yes, I can swim too. It's not like I'd drown if I fell into this water. But the fear is still there. A kind of dread. Hey, 
Hey, where are you? <laughs> are you not feeling well? I guess it's just beginning to sink in now. Why? That I'm here with you? No, that my work has been destroyed. That you think I'm not good as a writer. <laughs> good too. Perhaps what hurts you more is the second thing. Even the first point too. How am I ever going to write that book? So many books have come and gone. That's not a reason that you have to worry about. I am finished. You have completely ruined me. What is a writer without his book? <laughs> Just relax, Kuttu. Should I tolerate your psychology lessons too? <laughs> That's not required. However, there's one thing that you can learn from me as to how to be happy. <laughs> At least I'm not unhappy like you. Well, I was happy to at your age. It's called youth. I don't think you understand the mind of a writer. And I don't blame you for that. The emptiness from the betrayal, the sorrow from the loss. I overcame all that with my writing. Writing is my boat to happiness. I love it when someone feels uplifted by what I write. It makes me happy. Maybe. I don't know anything about all that. But but I think good to you write because you love it. <laughs> when the readers shower their praise on you. Praise? What do I care about praise? I'm too old for all that. All I care about is writing, so I keep writing. <laughs> Good too. I'll be right back. I need to take a shower. <laughs> I love the feeling of water falling on my skin. I just love it. <laughs> and uh, I won't be peeping this time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. I'm here, sir. Down here. Oh, God damn. I came back. Yeah, so I see. So, shall we go? Go? Where to? To my home, sir. Have you forgotten? I told you already, Rahul. Some other day. I thought uh, you wanted to come with me. I did say I'll come. But some other day. Why not today? What's wrong about today? To be honest, there is no day like today. Not today. I'm busy. I have a few work pending. Sir, I changed all my plans and drove back just for you. Don't you cheat me now. Just say yes. Cheat you? Me? What do you mean? You made me come back all the way and suddenly you're saying no. Isn't that cheating? I didn't ask you to come back here. And I didn't even promise to come with you. Okay. But you said you wanted to see my house. Uh, yes, I did. See, I told you. What? Are you calling me a liar? Hey, mister. Don't you mister me now. Get ready to leave. Are you out of your mind? <coughs> I was being polite. But you won't listen. Uh-huh. <clears throat> 
<coughs> Get your hands here. I'll kill you. Okay, okay. I understand. <laughs> Why would I hurt her? Actually, it's you who wanted to see my house. I'm taking you with me. <laughs> I hope you're not hurt. You're old enough to be my grandfather. Don't die on me, all right? Drink up. We have a long journey to make. Can't have you shouting on the way, huh? Good. <laughs> Shall we go? Go get into my vehicle. And in the meantime, let me have some fun with the girl. Where is she? <laughs> Just joking, old man. <laughs> I don't need to do that. <laughs> now, do you want to get into the vehicle? <laughs> go, go, keep going. I'm going to cover you up with this. Don't worry, you won't die. But if you try to jump, that might happen. Hope you understand.
<laughs> Wake up, writer. <clears throat> How do you like the place? <laughs> You'll start liking it. <laughs> it has a charm of its own. Give it a couple of days and you'll get it. <laughs> Don't you worry, old man. You look like someone has taken you a prisoner. No one's going to hurt you. Unless you ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you want? Who are you? Good. That's a good question. Who are you? <laughs> But in here, I ask all the questions. <laughs> so we are home at last. Feel free here. <laughs> Roam around as you wish. <laughs> This is your room. Look, I've set everything up. <coughs> Welcome to your room, old man. <laughs> You can stay here as long as you wish. But remember this. I'll be good to you if you listen to me. If you play decent, I'll be decent. If you try to do anything funny... <laughs> I'll try to play funny as well. <laughs> Old man, come here. I'll show you something.
Come. Come. <laughs> Come up. <laughs> What's wrong? Can't climb? Why should I come up? It's up to you then. If you climb up, I might show you a way to freedom. Need a hand? I don't need your help. I can get them myself. That's great. I like your spirit. Shall I kick your <laughs> face? <laughs> Just for fun, old man. <laughs> we have a deal. <laughs> you play fair? I'll do the same. <laughs> Come, 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 come. <laughs> Why did you bring me up here? Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> I love one question a day. <laughs> Why did I bring you here? Okay, listen. You are well read and you have written a lot. But actually you are very stupid. <laughs> Firstly, it's not me who brought you here. You said you wanted to see my house. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Stop repeating that nonsense. I'm not a fool. Oh, ho. <laughs> you don't know a thing, do you? But you think you know too much. Your head is full of ideas picked up from others. And you think it's some kind of knowledge. <laughs> to be honest, your life is one big lie. You wake up every morning putting on your pious face, hiding all the pain and anger that's raging inside you. As if that weren't enough, you write books too. <laughs> you pick up bones chewed up by others and dish them out as wisdom. That's your opinion. <laughs> oh, right. Then listen to this too. <laughs> now you think, your God's gift to mankind. <laughs> Actually, you're just another bag of shit. Just like me. <laughs> if you can understand this, you're a free man.
Wake up, young man. <laughs> you? Yes. Happy to see me? Of course I'm happy. Where is he? Who? Rahul? You know him before this? Of course. We are friends, is it not? I see. So it was a setup. You are with him in this. Hmm. Come on, eat up. I'm sure you are hungry. This is the best food you can get for miles around. So, you have been fooling me so far, both of you. Okay. What are you saying? You're the one who wanted a change. Nice food. Like a fool, I walked into a trap. Don't look so sad, Guttu. We both are Guttu's friends. Wish I had told me all about you. <laughs> Quite a bull, aren't you? <laughs> Come on, Rahul. Kutu is a good man. I like him. Okay, so you like him. But he hates you enough to kill you. Look at him. Look at his face. Not hungry, I guess. Closer. Mm -hmm. Why not? <laughs> no need, Gutu. But you have no problem rolling all over him, huh? <laughs> but Rahul is not my boyfriend. What's the game now? <laughs> Don't be angry with me, Gutu. <laughs> Gutu? Who is Gutu? Stop calling me like that. I'm old enough to be a grandfather. <laughs> Don't get upset, Guttu. <laughs> this... This is like a dream. A dream which can wake us up. Don't you try to teach me. I've learned my lessons. And forget your pop psychology. I've heard enough of that. Good too, you're still carrying old hurts and aches. But you don't want to accept it. Now I know what your problem is. One man isn't enough for you. Eh? Good too, when you cool down, you let me know, we'll talk. Hmm? <laughs> you think I'm jealous? You think I'm jealous of your boyfriend? <laughs> I'm not. I've seen too much of life. Too much to be jealous of anybody. I can handle my emotions well. Everything's quite clear now. You're with him. But you'd like to come dancing around in front of me. <laughs> I'm not with him, Guttu. Actually, we are both always with you, Guttu.
<laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> the moment the leader sat at my head, mm. I knew my plan would work. <laughs> <laughs> Just lay there as if I were fast asleep. And then? Maybe five minutes. That's all it took. Mm. <laughs> Good too. Hmm. What do you want now? You poor thing. Don't you poor thing me. I can ask Rahul to give you permission to let you move around freely. It's not as as if you're going to run away. What if I do run away? What will you do? Shoot me down? I don't need your help. I can take care of myself quite well. I was doing just that when the two of you broke into my life, destroying it. When all of this is over, who knows, Guttu? You may actually be very thankful to us. Thank you? For what? For wrecking my quiet life? Or for ruining my happiness? Happiness? <laughs> Guttu, you weren't happy. What? A quiet life. That's no big deal. It's just a routine which life imposes on lonely people. That's your happiness. If I was lonely and unhappy, that's my business. Listen, I'm not some old-fashioned prude. I've seen my share of the world and I have lived life. Not like the two of you. I believe in the virtues of life. But you don't. Virtues? Vishaya! Watching you at your age and the kind of life you lead, you won't even understand the meaning of virtue. You need to live your life to understand that. Perhaps virtue is just a mask created by the mind, a mask behind which the mind can hide. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Uh huh. You are up. You're the one who woke me up, right? Me? What did I do? Who knows? You tell me. You're the one who are walking around naked. <laughs> me walking around naked? <laughs> Good to must be dreaming. You are beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Have you been to this balcony? It's very nice. So is this window, my favorite place to read. Give me a kiss. Beautiful. No, Guttu. You know I can't do that. You can't? Why not? We did a lot more that afternoon. That was different. That was. Well, to me it's all the same. I can't let you go. No, I Guttu. Need you. This uh, is not right. I, let me go, uh, please. Uh, what's the problem? What's up? You don't fancy doing it in the morning? <laughs> Calm down, I say. This is not the way you behave with a woman. Well, we be <laughs> beyond all that. <laughs> Stop it right now, or you'll be sorry for this. We've done this before. What's a big deal now? <laughs> You're gonna get it from me now. <laughs> How dare you slap me, you bloody bitch! I'll slap you. What are you doing? Do you have any idea what it is? Oh, shut You'll up. regret this. Stop trying to act like a teacher. I know that you're just a whore making out with every dick in town. <laughs> wow. That's very nice indeed. <laughs> hmm. And now, don't you see what you really are? <laughs> Wake up and have this to eat. Cull me in the sweet perfume of your kisses. Tell everyone that at last you're willing to push me out. Even though it breaks your poor heart to know that you are sending me without armor and mask into a world seething with horrid lies and sex. Tell them you are crying because the water of your disenchantment has broken and found its way through your blazing eyes. Tell them the river of death has passed us by. Tell them they can come back tomorrow to look at me, to hold me and tickle me on the cheek if they wish. Tell them you have set me free like the smoke which is held in an unlit cigar under orange trees in summer.
Do you think you're still in your twenties? Huh? <coughs> Get a move on, you old thing. <laughs> I want this rope in my room in five minutes. That's the wrong end. Untied from top. Have the boxes tied up by morning, like it used to be. I'll come and check. Hope you heard that. Say uh. yes, damn it! Yes. If you ever touch this rope again, <laughs> that'll be the end of you. I'll have fun hanging you with it, right here. Got that? Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. 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 You shouldn't have. Please, say nothing. I made a mistake. Why did you try to escape? I didn't mean that. What I did to you, it's very wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I know. I know you are. Why are you with this fellow? Who is he? One thing is obvious. You don't belong together. Not at all. We are actually supposed to be together. Who is he? <laughs> That's something Gutu has to find out. Could it be uh, an old student of mine or... I haven't fathered any child. Are you that certain? <laughs> don't worry. That man is not your son. Monsieur, leave him and come with me. Let's escape from here. We can live in my house. I will never hurt you again. I promise. No, Guttu. That's not possible. Besides, that's not the meaning of this story. Story? Ah. This story. <laughs> Some tea? No. There is a little left. Sure you don't want any? Okay, I'll take a sip. He seems to be badly hurt. Who's that? Oh, the old one. He had it coming, didn't he? 
It's always like that. They don't get it till it hits them hard. He asked me to leave you and go with him. <laughs> I thought as much. You know, he apologized to me for desiring you, or for the manner in which he showed his desire. But you know what? I don't think he knows the difference. I don't think he even knows there's such a difference. <laughs> wakey, wakey! We have some talking to do. Up, up, up! What do you want? I just thought of cheering you up. I think you've been a bit down lately. Buck up! <laughs> I know that you really hate me, don't you? No, I don't hate you. I just pity you. That's exactly what I said. You hate me. Oh, so pity and hate are the same to you. <laughs> are you drunk? You're really very funny. You hate everyone. Isn't that true? Attempted rapist, prospective murderer. And yet, you go around with your saintly face. <laughs> oh. See? Now you've started acting again. Acting the part of the injured soul. Why do you make up the look of a dog which has been whipped? True, I beat you up. But you really had it coming. You try to play funny with my girl, I'll kick your balls in. <laughs> What's up? Close your eyes. I have something to show you. <laughs> What's it? Proof. Everything's falling into place. You'll know. First close your eyes. <laughs> okay. Ah, now open. <laughs> Who are they? Just take a look. What's this all about? That's us. You and me. Good too. What are you saying? This... Of course it's not us. It's not even me. That's you and this is me. Don't try to fool me. Don't be so blind, Vishya. You belong to me. You are mine. You're gonna be set free. What's the twist in the game now? I'll let you go if you admit that you hate me. I told you. I have no hate towards you. I just pity you. Not just that you hate me, but that you hate me enough to kill me. Accept that and you can leave. <laughs> Nobody can save you. You're a damned soul. <laughs> I know. But that's not what I asked you. Come on. At least call me a few names. Go ahead. Come on! Can't you really see anything? 
I can see through your trick. You want to make me do something against my conscience. I will not do that even if you try to kill me. All my life, I try to understand which you and to live by it. You are on a different track. This freedom that you offer me, I don't want it. You're nothing but a fool. I was once walking along a deserted beach. Suddenly, I saw a woman sitting near a pile of rocks. Three or four people were sitting on the sand around her. Few dogs too. That lady, she was naked. One man offered her something to eat. She accepted it and began feeding everyone. First the dogs and then the people without any distinction. She saw me looking at her and paused. In her eyes, I saw an unimaginable kindness filled with compassion. Everything went silent and I began to cry. You know what? <laughs> You're beautiful. So are you. Now, oh, you go on. I get some sleep. <clears throat> Uh-huh. <laughs> 